And welcome back to our community. Susie Thomas visiting here with Steve and Nicole, Steve Donant and Nicole Donant Moore. And a uh, <laughs> big, exciting event coming up on November 7th with the 10 year anniversary of the Nicole Donant Library. Mm -hmm. Now, libraries have books. One yep. of the very important books in your library is called Believe. And uh, this is about what? Who? It's actually about me, I guess. I'm kind of honest about it, but I don't like to, you know. I know, but this is a place where you're allowed to talk about this. Right. You, you have such an inspiring story. The story of your life itself is so mm -hmm. inspiring. A friend of mine actually wrote it. He actually watched me grow up, and, um, you know, he, he was famous for, uh, we would go to this festival called Yankee Peddle. And he was famous for his pencil drawings. And, you know, he, uh, we'd get a couple pencil drawings, or he'd give us some, and he watched me grow up. And he started writing some books. And he eventually came to my parents and said, I want to write a book. Mm. So we sat down and had pizza, and he asked the story, and just kind of Tell every Friday story. night went from there. And well, Steve, let's go back and tell us a little bit about the well, story Dave, of Nicole. Dave McHannon is uh, the pencil artist, and he was pretty special. He was a quiet gentleman, and uh, he, he was observant. And we got to become real close friends. And he approached us one day after the show had aired. And actually, it was, I think it was during the show, as a matter of fact. And uh, he wanted to write about the Three Wishes show and uh, what Nicole has done. So we started actually talking about her life. It was started when she was born, pound 11 ounces. And uh, it has my journal in there from when we were in the hospital mm -hmm. uh, with Nicole and Linda. And they put that in the book. And they went through all her challenges and all her struggles and all her accomplishments through mm -hmm. that book. And uh, actually the Three Wishes how it led up to the, the library. And uh, she had wrote an autobiography about herself. Okay. Yes, when I was in fourth Thanks grade, it was a fourth there. grade project. And they actually took the actual writing and uh -huh. the photos and the pictures that we had in there and, and published it in there oh. as well. Pictures when I was growing up. But it was, a, like I said, a fourth grade project. It had, you know, description and pictures, you know, kind of basic for a fourth grade. So, so she'll be signing but. her books there at the library the 7th. So we can mm -hmm. get Believe there, yeah. mm -hmm. and you'll be there to sign. And I don't think it was actually covered, but it's um, uh, anniversary and open houses from 12 to 4. Oh, so. <laughs> thank you. Yes, we yes. want to make sure that we get people there at the right time. Okay, so 12 to 4. 12 to 4. At 8503 North High Street yep. in Mineral mm -hmm. City. And um, let me give this phone number, too. That's 330-859-9100. One of the things about the library is that uh, it's not government-funded because it was a private library. And uh, we had formed uh, Friends of the Library, and that's how we raise money for the library. We do book sales. We do um, uh, quilt raffles. We have a lady that's part of the Friends named Sally Honest that she makes quilt every year hand quilted and mm -hmm. donates it to the library and really nice quilt this year for a raffle so the library needs continued operation oh, absolutely. yes absolutely three, three wishes provided what a building a building a they building. came in and they yep. put in a lot of really good books uh with the books that nicole donated and then shelves the structure it was just a a, a prayer answered because the city was trying to look for a building and couldn't find one and that's when three wishes came basically what they did is because since the uh time was so limited with each wish they only had uh 14 days so they put modular homes together and kind of just built it from there and so but it's it's so solid yeah and you yeah. wouldn't know it full interior yeah. My favorite part is a little children's corner. Yes. Tell, describe the inside of the library for um, anyone who's not visited. They have a, you know, a basic comfy reading area mm -hmm. by windows or whatever. And then in the center there's, you know, computers and the front desk. And there's even um, a little, uh, we call it in the coast corner, it's a little castle in the corner for the kids and that's where actually story time is going to be mm -hmm. um carter osterhaus actually approached me and he said well i want to build something for you for the kids what would you like and i said well the kids need a place to for me to read to them or whatever 
And so he said, okay, I'll think of something up. And so he did. He built a castle. And they actually, I think they told me that the artist from Extreme Makeover, they flew her in, and she actually did the mural. Oh, my goodness, because it is beautiful. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, how cool. Yep. So we do keep story time going. We do mm-hmm. have uh, the first and third Saturday of every month. Uh, we have a local teacher, Lori Walton, on the first one, and Sue Miller, one of the volunteers, on the third Saturday for the kids from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. And the kids just love it because it's story time, and then we do um, craft and then a snack for them, and they just love it. Now, do they ever get to hear a Nicole Donat reading to them? Sometimes I do, <laughs> but usually Her I'm busy pretty schedule. busy. <laughs> Let's let's get into this busy schedule. You since doing all of this, you are such an accomplished young lady. You uh, are now a married woman, yes, and a college graduate. Yep. Tell us a little bit about uh, what's happened since in these ten years. What have they looked like for you? Well, I've um, been married two years now, so I'm still technically newly wed, I guess you could say. But I don't consider that because <laughs> it, it wasn't last year; it was two years ago, and then. Um, I graduated in May with my bachelor's and associates in English, English literature and psycholo- uh, psychology minor. So oh, Wonderful. Yep. And uh, what are you doing now? Um, just basically trying to find a job. Uh-huh. Wherever. Well, that's good. Yeah. All right. Everybody listening, here's a really good, <laughs> great candidate for you. Um, and those, <laughs> those 10 years since, since this happened, what's that look like in your life? I mean, you've, a lot of changes have taken place. Um, I don't really know. I just go with the changes and, and finish mm-hmm. school and, yeah, mm-hmm. got an uh, eighth-month-old puppy dog at home oh my. and taking care of her. And that's been fun because I have a companion when my husband goes to work. And mm-hmm. so he's working at the post office, and that helps out a lot. And, and a shout-out to your husband. His name is? His name is Matt, Matt Moore. Matt Moore. And I know he's very proud of you, too. Mm-hmm. So fun. We're talking with Steve and Nicole, don't Steve Donant and Nicole Donant Moore, <laughs> and uh, talking about the tenth anniversary of the Nicole Donant Library. Um, we were starting to talk a little bit about that therapy horse that you were given by Three Wishes, right? As they were coming in town, and your only wish was to do something for the community mm-hmm. and technically get those six thousand books out of the living room as yeah. well right so yes. have a building to put them in and someplace that everyone could go enjoy but they wanted to do something for you as mm-hmm. well yep. so you are a person who has gotten to benefit from pegasus farm tell us a little yes. bit about what that organization's meant to you well since i have uh cp it you know helps mm-hmm. me stretch my legs mm-hmm. and you know i just love the horses i feel like you know i'm flying up there and uh, you know it just the hour's not long enough. We have an hour class, and it's like, can I just stay up here? But it's hour long class, and I sometimes, of course, I'm feeling it when I get off, but <laughs> uh, yeah, it's <laughs> always fun, and I love it, and so does my horse. They actually said that my horse, um, he's been stubborn a while lately, and he responds better to to me than anybody else that rides him. What is it about that relationship between Jack and you and, and I, a horse and its rider? I really don't know. It's a bond. I, I think, you know, because I make him work. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and vice versa, correct? Mm-hmm. You kind of yep. exercise each other out there. Mm-hmm. Really great. And you've been a, a participant at Pegasus for how many years? I, whoa, geez, that's a long story. Um, <laughs> I think I started, what? Did I she to? was uh, riding when she was four years old, and mm. then she had taken a break because she had back surgery for two, three years, actually. And then she went back when she was eight. So she'd been actually yep. riding for a while, a while, I guess. <laughs> and you still go. How often do you get to go now because your uh, life's so much busier? Thursday nights is where I go. Oh, wow. So, so neat. And Jack's yep. always happy to see you. Yep. Always there. Always riding him. So exciting. <laughs> All right. Well, let's um, get back to the anniversary. Tell us yep. again. We've touched on this very briefly, but <laughs> tell us again everything that's going to be taking place on November 7th. There's going to be, uh, from 12 to 4, there's going to be story time for the kids at 1 o'clock and balloon animals for them as well and magician 
from I think it's one thirty to two thirty. One thirty to two thirty, and then of course at the end at two thirty, we're gonna have a commemorative screening of the show. So if anybody didn't get to see it or would like to see it, it'll also be there. And then again, I mentioned um, cake and punch. Uh, we'll have some cookies and punch cookies actually. And punch. And um, there's going to be a quilt raffle. We have a beautiful quilt this year. So if anybody wants to, you know, purchase t- tickets for the b- beautiful quilt that we have. Mm-hmm. Then, so. That will be auctioned it, off? Ha- yeah. Yeah, it'll be. Or is it a drawing? It's, it's a drawing, a drawing. In, okay. in December. And it helps keep it, keeps us going and keeps us open. So, What kind of an, a budget are we talking about when you're talking about operating a library? Well, it varies. We did have a big, large purchase last year. We had to re, com, re uh, do all the computers. Mm. So that, that was a big uh, chunk of change. But uh, the Friends of the Library focused and put a lot of fundraisers together and raised some money. And we also do a special thing, too, at the library, and m- not a lot of people know this, but uh, since uh, we, we've been in existence 10 years, so we've paid out nine years. We've uh, paid out three $500 scholarships to the local seniors graduating Tremendous. in the area, so we've raised that money as well. Wow. So the money we raise, we try to give back. Now, the librarians there, are these all volunteers? Or? All volunteers. Yep. Wow. Always looking for volunteers. Nice place for retired teachers. Nice to place. Spend oh, some yeah. Time. And we <laughs> love every one yeah. of them. If someone, I'm sure, is listening saying, I would love to be a part of this, do you have a website or how can they reach? Well, actually, we, Nicole still has her website going. Uh, yeah, it's uh, nicoledonant.org. And it's got information of the library, and anyone can stop in at any time. We do have our hours uh, posted. Tuesday through Friday, um, 1 to 7, and Saturday, 10 to 3. You can stop in, pick up an application, and uh, we have some fantastic volunteers that will um, train and show them around. And how busy is it? Uh, it's pretty busy mm-hmm. on, like, during on Saturday, sometimes the yes. kids will come in and they're bored and they don't have anything to do. But usually on the weekdays, I think, I think they're pretty busy. Mm-hmm. I, it's good for I'm the not community. I'm not in. I'm on in on Saturdays with my dad. So that's mm-hmm. well, good for the community because they can come in. The kids come in off the streets, you know, and s- safe place to go. And uh, now that school's back, they're starting to have a lot of kids coming in from doing their homeworks sure. and uh, looking up mm-hmm. things on the internet. Some of the homes don't have computers. So they come in and they can get on the online. They can print anything out, reports and stuff. And it's research. their safe place where they go. Awesome. And it was a dream of a little girl mm-hmm. that came to fruition who's now a lovely young woman. And yep. we just wish you all the best. Thank mm-hmm. you so much for everything you've done. And thank thanks you. for joining yep, us thank today. Thank you. We just want to remind everyone that takes place November 7th from noon to 4. And the location is 8503 North High Street in Mineral City. Steve and Nicole, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Tomorrow, we'll be finding out about a special Veterans Day program. In the meantime, for the Light 95.9 WNPQ, I'm Susie Thomas. This has been Our Community.